Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A year ago, I had a near-death like experience and ever since then, I could pick up on energies and I could even hear from God itself. I was told that it would take me 14,422 lifetimes for my soul's journey to be completed. So I decided to start a social media platform so I can help more people speed this thing on up and finally get the heck up off this planet. I'm tired. I wanna go home. I've been an Eskimo. <laughs> Ready to go, I was cold. Guys, now that we got that fun, funny intro out of the way, what is up, you guys? It is your spiritual teacher, Tahira. Welcome back to Instructions for Humanity, where I teach that we are all one and we are multidimensional beings. And there are divine instructions that our soul must follow so we can get the heck up off this planet, guys. Ain't you just tired? Stressful being human. Anywho, guys, together we are going to erase the lines that divide the greater wide humanity and usher in a new state of existence, living in the divine essence that we are all one in love. Grow with me, guys. Love with me. It's going to be a great ride. Okay, guys. Now that we have gotten all those intros out of the way, this is going to be a very interesting episode because remember back on my like first and second video, I told you I wasn't a, a psychic or a medium. Well, spirit said that was a lie. Girl, I'm going to tell you what happened to me. I was contact. I had a spirit DM basically. Yes. Spirit DM me why while I was sleeping. I was contacted by a little girl named Jennifer, okay? She was about 10 years old. She caught me slipping. I was sleeping. We got to talking. She got to sharing her story with me and showing her little cuteness. And I was like, Jenny, girl, I'm going to help you, okay? But hey, we got we to gotta get some understanding going on here. Don't be showing up in the middle of the night in my bedroom. Because you know I'm black, right? We don't take too well to, to spirits visiting us. You thought spirit could run fast. <laughs> you ain't seen a black girl run from spirit, have you? So we got that understanding that this is one time thing, okay. But guys, in all seriousness, I was able to connect with her story and I was able to go into meditation and I was able to get some great information for her so that she could find healing and be at peace. So we are going to go ahead and just jump right into it. I'm going to read to you the, her story because I wrote it down because I didn't want to forget anything. And then I will go ahead and play the meditation to see what the great universal spirit had to say and the words of encouragement that was given. Okay, here we go. I was contacted by a little girl named Jennifer while I was sleeping the other night. She showed me some troubling things that happened to her. She showed me that she was at the park with her little brother. I think he was about four or five years old and she was about 10. He was pushing her on the swing. Guys, he was pushing her on the swing and she wanted to keep going higher and higher and higher. Well, she swung so high that she fell off of the swing. And there was a trash can there with some jagged metal edges. And when she fell off, she fell onto the trash can with the metal edges and, and her head was decapitated. And her brother saw it all. And that's why she contacted me. Because even though that happened to her, I got the sense that not only did she want healing for herself, but more importantly, she wanted healing for her brother. And, um, you know, I was, um, I heard in my mind's eye that uh, his name is Jonathan. And I was shown by spirit an image of Jonathan just walking, holding on to the walls. Never walking in the middle of the room, just always holding, holding on to the walls. So I understood that intuitively 
he has walled himself off from society, off from his emotions, because this is kind of giving him some sort of a mental block. And he's walled himself off, and that's why he needs healing. And that's why Jennifer DM'd me by spirit, by the way of spirit, so that I could go ahead and see if I could help. So, that is her story. Now we are going to hear um, the meditation that I did to see what the great universal spirit, God, source, energy, had to say. Here we go. There, you are beloved. What do you want them to know? What do you want them to know? I'm sorry, my darling child, Jennifer. No child should have to go through such thing. And to Jonathan, no child should have to witness such thing. You two are safe with me here in spirit. You two are combined. Your souls are one. You will have plenty of time to play. you will take multiple existences together mm -hmm. and they won't all be this traumatic <laughs> words of encouragement God words of encouragement. What do you want to tell Jonathan? What do you want to tell Jonathan? <sighs> I'm seeing a train. Like he likes trains. Like he has a train set. <sighs> Jonathan. Hold on to something that you love, like that train set. Mm -hmm. Find passion in life, as you are not a little boy anymore. Allow yourself to open up and to explore. I know it is hard because she is your counterpart. You will find healing. his passion that is where the healing will come from and vengeance mm. although socially he's awkward and not aware Mentally, 
He is brilliant. And spent so much time inside of his head that he has created a lot. So once he brings his ideas out of his head to the social world, that is when the walls will crumble and his healing becomes her healing too. my children for I God will never leave you without love mm. <laughs> so there it is guys once again beautiful words from spirit itself Guys, this was a tough one. I'm not going to lie. This was a tough one to do. And those words that God spoke, they were so compassionate. Like he was talking to a baby, right? You know? So let's go ahead and kind of get into this and kind of break it down a little bit so we can find the teaching that will also heal our souls within this, right? Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and read and we're going to break it down as I go along. So God, the great spirit said, I'm sorry, my darling child, Jennifer. No child should have to go through such things. And to Jonathan, no child should have to witness such things. That was just beautiful to me because I could see that it was like God had set them on his lap, right? Not like, I mean, obviously he doesn't have a lap, but I could just, it was, I got a sense that they were being nurtured, you know, and that they were close by, you know, and protected. So that, that was just a beautiful image that I received. And he recognizes that no child should have to go through that. But he also goes on to say that you two are combined. Your souls are one. So what does that make you think of? Initially, it might make you think of soul group, soul tie, and soul, um, soul families, right? But no, he said that your soul is one. That makes me think of a soul fragment. A soul fragment is when you have one soul that breaks off into many different pieces. So remember, we are multidimensional. We can be in more than one place at the same time. So the two of them, although they were born at different times, they share the same soul. They are soul fragments of each other. They came down here at different times, but they are one because they are combined. That is what the spirit said. Your souls are one. Okay, so they are connected. So I understand now why she contacted me, because even though Jonathan is still living, if Jonathan is not healed, she really won't be healed either. Okay, it's a package deal with these two. So that's very important. Okay, he says you will have plenty of time to play because you will take multiple existences together. And they won't all be this traumatic. So I really love that. It's just reassuring. You know, because that's all a kid. A kid can get hurt. A kid can fall down and break their leg. They won't care about that, right? Even us, right? Because we're still his children. The only thing they're going to care about, oh, is I didn't get to finish playing ball. I didn't get to, to finish swinging. That's what a kid cares about. So I can tell that, you know, the spirit is just tailoring itself to go ahead and talk to 
the very young children. That is Jennifer and Jonathan, right? So he's, it's almost like he's answering them. Like, don't worry, you're going to have plenty of time to play because you're going to take multiple existences together, right? And they won't all be this traumatic. So guys, remember, we come into this world. We meet with our, um, our divine counsel, spirit counsel. We map out a plan for our soul. So we already know what roles we're going to be playing. We have already agreed to this state, this play, essentially, before we even came down here. So... They won't all be this traumatic, right? They're going to have good times. They're going to have bad times. But guys, we got to be able to experience it all, right? Because we're going to take multiple uh, existences. So you might be the murderer one time. And then the next lifetime, you're going to be the victim. We're going to switch. We have to see how it feels on the other side of the coin. And at the end, the summation of everything has to equal love. That's how you get off of this will and stop coming back here once you understand that we are all one in love right so that was just that was just beautiful to me just reaffirming that hey you guys will have plenty of time to play they won't all these lives won't be so traumatic you're gonna have multiple existences together very very beautiful so then i asked god for more encouraging words to give right and i saw in my mind's eye my spirit uh eye I saw Jonathan playing with a train, like a train set. Um, it, it makes me actually think about when I grew up. Um, I want to say like in the 80s, I remember my brother having a train set and he would put the tracks together and, you know, the train would start moving and everything. And I saw that that's what Jonathan was playing with. So this makes me feel like this happened back in the 80s, you know, interesting. So he said, Jonathan, hold on to something you love, like the train set, right? Find passion in life as you are not a little boy anymore. Allow yourself to open up and to explore. I know it's hard because she is your counterpart. See, reiterating, reiterating it again, that they are one, guys, in love. You will find healing and then he said again, he will find healing in his passion, right? Once he find passion, that is where the healing will come from. Guys, I don't know if you've noticed, if you've watched several videos, passion keeps coming up. The passion is healing, right? Because passion is attached to our divine given purpose, that is where the healing comes from. We must live a life of purpose. All of these things that we're going through, the suicidal thoughts, the feeling like we're not good enough, the, the problems with this and that, it doesn't matter. If you're living a life that is guided by your divine passion, you're going to be able to jump through so many different hurdles because you are on the right path right? That passion will divinely guide you even through the dark days because that's what passion does. It makes you get back up, dust yourself off and try again. That is what it does. Thank you, Aaliyah. Aaliyah just came through to, to give me that and I love that. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, boy, so that's what passion does, okay? The other thing is, let's see here. Yeah, he's socially awkward, but he has a lot of ideas because he's been in his head for so long, right? He's been walled off. And then I heard the word inventions. So, you know, possibly he has a lot of inventions already because he's just been in his mind probably creating this whole time. So he already has a lot that he's worked on. He just needs to find his passion and that's how he will break free, right? Because I had a, um, I saw him actually holding on to the walls, right? So once he finds his passion, he's going to take his hands off the wall, right? He'll be able to just walk upright and be secure and strong, you know, because he's found his divine purpose. And then this is another thing that is very, very important. Just going back um, earlier to what God said, you guys are safe with me in the spirit. So even though this happened to Jennifer and even though Jonathan is still living, God said, 
He's safe with him in the spirit. He's still in the spirit, guys. We are multidimensional. We can be in two places at the same time. Two things can be true all at the same time. So no matter that he's he's in his earth suit, right? He's still already in spirit safe, but he doesn't know that. Once he knows that, he's going to be fine. And then this is the one thing that is just so beautiful to me. He said, like once he finds his passion and once he brings his ideas out of his head into the social world, right? By through, through a way of his passion, that is when the walls will crumble and his healing becomes her healing too. Guys, that was so powerful because we think that it's just about me, 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 me. But no, his healing is her healing because they are one soul, guys. So let's get out of the me, 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 right? And understand that there are other people that are attached to us. And if we are always down in the dumps, we're pulling them down to that frequency that we're on, whether they're living or not, guys. We have to get out of this that, oh, for something to be real, it must be physical. No, we are all one in love. We're multidimensional. We're in many places all at the same time. Okay? So we have to be able to contact our higher self and pull up our frequency because we are pulling other people down, whether they are living as physical beings. How many times have you pulled down your family members, you know, your, your spouse or your friends and people just... Stop talking to you because you, you were too needy because you're lowering their frequency. And it's like, it makes them sad, guys. So we have to be able to keep our vibes high, keep our vibration high, right? Through the yellow energy, right? That we discussed in a prior video. So, you know, there's people in the spirit room that have already passed on, but if they're connected to you, so family, so group, so ties, so, so, um, I don't know, something else. <laughs> so family, so group, soul tie, right? And there was one other, but I can't think of it right now. But guys, if we are connected, right? And then we, we are here just in our lower selves all the time. They're not going to be happy because you're not happy because we are all one in love. That's just the point that I was trying to make because we are divinely connected, right? So that was just beautiful. And I think that was just a teaching moment, you know, that we can all take in our everyday lives and just be able to uplift ourselves. Okay. And he said, be at peace, my children, for I, God, will never leave you without love. God will never leave you without love because God is love. I mean, I don't even need to continue on with this channel. God has said it here. I'll never leave you without love. God is love and you are God. So you are love. That's the whole point. That's how you stop coming back here to the earth plane. Understanding that we are one in love. Okay? So guys, I want to thank Jennifer for coming through and sharing her story, sending me that, that, uh, spiritual DM. And I think we were able to find some healing and get some answers, um, to her and to Jonathan. We are just going to end this with a little prayer. I'm going to bring in the element of water. And, you know, these are, these are quite, even though they're young, they're still souls, right? And so we're, we're, ageless right but you know she's still playing the role of jennifer at 10 and he's still playing the role of jonathan at four or five so let's go ahead and just do an extra special prayer for them so that they can be well in their soul and in their spirit okay submerging my hand in the water communing with the great universal spirit the great mother 
of the living waters, the feminine aspect, the element of water itself that brings life, that replenishes, that heals, that brightens and uplifts because that is what Jonathan needs right now. And Jennifer, mother God of the living waters, flow, flow through his soul, essence being and purify him and let the water hit the bedrock of his soul and wash that dirt, wash the pain away. Because his healing is Jennifer's healing too. Be well, Jonathan. Be well, my child. As we walk together in love. Sorry, guys, sorry. Sorry. Guys, we are all one. I felt the pain of Jonathan. I felt the sisterly love from Jennifer. Like, she's protective over him. Even though it is a fragment of herself, she's still protective over him, and it's beautiful. And Mother God was there just nurturing her child, Jonathan. She's going to wash that dirt. She's going to wash that pain from his soul, right? So that he can, he can be well, so that Jennifer can be well, because we're all one in love. We are divine love. We will together heal humanity. When we stand together with that yellow energy, which is love and our heart essence, we are going to do great things for humanity, right? Together. So, guys. That is it. That was the uh, message that I received, the spiritual DM I received from Jennifer. So I know that Mother God has them, and so we can leave them with her, and they will be just fine. But guys, hey, give me a spirit uh, DM. Maybe send send me another message. Now, please don't show up in my room at night when I'm sleeping, because I, I ain't going to. You show up in front of me. <laughs> I'm running, taking off, gone, seriously, gently, like the way Jennifer did it, when I'm sleeping, when I'm sleeping, you know, and uh, I'll go ahead and see if I can answer um, your questions or find some healing for you on maybe the next episode that maybe we're going to call this DMs from Spirit, guys, so I just want to leave you with positive love and yellow energy right which is love guys take all that yellow energy guys and i hope this resonated with any of you beautiful people out there go ahead like comment and sus subscribe please support me guys this needs to be global please donate to my cash app guys we are gonna make this big we are going to change humanity as it is guys because we are going to walk together in love together guys go ahead and click on that notification bell all that good stuff i think i've said it leave some comments guys just showing love and support and healing energy for jennifer and jonathan we thank you for coming through with us today and uh spending time with us and i hope that this session this meeting of the spirit minds was able to bring you guys healing be well and be safe everyone i love you God loves you. The trees love you. And I'm going to say it. Love is the way. 
Forgiveness is the key and truth is the light that guides us home. Be well.